what's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling with me ab now check it out you know we you know it's hot outside we ramping up for this you know for this summer so now it's time to bring out them summertime classics right but this time i'm finna raise it up i'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make and prepare listen this is nothing but a cheddar bacon ranch uh, potato salad super simple we finna look at these ingredients go over this real quick and go from there now take a look right here i want to show you something right now take a look at this this right here, I've been sleeping on it. That right there, that Sweet Smoky Joe's all-purpose rug, that right there is fire. You're gonna see a lot of stuff with that. Hey, listen, my mind is going, I'm ready to create, but this, these red potatoes, and these ingredients here is gonna make it, hey, I don't wanna say nothing, check it out. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Now, again, looking at this, you can see it's not a whole lot, right? It's really in the seasoning. We're using red potatoes. For one, it gives you a nice color. You know, we're gonna leave the skin on, you know what I mean? And it has a, a nice taste. We got ranch dressing, cheddar cheese, green onions. And to me, you know, I'm gonna call this the star. You know what I mean? Cause look, I love my bacon and it's thick cut. Hey, super simple, easy to prepare, a little salt, little pepper, and also I'm gonna be putting, I'm gonna be boiling my uh, potatoes, you know, just in my Dutch oven. So with all that being said, let's get it. Okay, so you guys can see, look, I got my bacon on. You guys know how to cook bacon, all of that, but we want it to be a little bit on the crispy side, right? It's really up to you. If you like them soft, you can put that in there. For me, I like to have a little crisp so we can have some uh, texture, right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my knife because we finna address these potatoes. The secret is with, uh, with, with, with potato salad is, listen, we got to boil these, right? We're not doing no peeling or nothing like that. These have already been washed. You know what I mean? They already been patted dry. The key is, listen, when we cut them like this, we just want them all to be the same. So it doesn't make no difference. We, you see this size right here? I can even go with this right here. This is almost that size, but we're not going like that. We're gonna cut them down like this, right? And then I'll probably cut them again like that. We'll just keep them all this size. When they're like this, they'll all be ready the same time as we boil it. Now, I'm not gonna bore you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these cut the same. I'm gonna put them in my pot right here, add some water. I'm gonna add about an inch over the top of them in there, and then we're gonna boil them. Then we're gonna check them by putting a fork in there or a toothpick to check to make sure they're tender. Okay, so look, I've already put this like on a paper plate lined with a paper towel so it absorbs some of the, uh, you know, some of the grease, right? So now we're just gonna go ahead and cut this down. Now, that's up to you how big of pieces you want it to be. Now, once you look at that, you see how big these are? These are for what I call the eye candy pieces. But then for those that want to have the flavor, we go ahead and chop some of these down. Just like you see. See, now look at the size of those. You know what I mean? Because we just want a variety. And to be honest with you, I don't know why I was being stingy. That's because I'm getting ready to do another video. And this other video needed a couple of slices. But listen, go ahead and use all of your bacon. If you're doing the bacon. And for those of you guys that don't use bacon, you know what I mean? Go ahead and get yourself some turkey bacon or steak bacon or whatever you would like to use. Now look, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut down my green onion. First, we're gonna get rid of this root. You know what I mean? We push that over there like that. For me, I like to just start and make it even like that, right? Grab it, go ahead. Just, this is the proper way. I don't always do it that way, but this is the proper way. You wanna keep your fingertips away, right? So you get it, hold it like this. Lift the knife up and just come and keep coming down like that. And this right here will get you some green onions. Now, I don't know about you guys. I'm just gonna push that over there. Let me, let me just address this side. I like onion. If you like onion, why not add this part too? Okay, so look, I got everything prepped. When it comes to potato salad, there's two things you gotta remember. The most important thing is, listen to this one here. You don't want your potatoes to be too soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one right here. They already cooled, right? I'm just gonna put it down, right? I'm gonna go ahead and grab my petty knife. This right here is my petty knife. You guys know this comes in a set. It's a chef knife, petty knife, and then I got a meat slicer. The difference is between this petty knife and a pair knife, knife is just the distance of the blade, you know, the length. Now, we don't want it to be too soft, which these not. So you can look, I can just go like that, they perfect. Still have some integrity, right? And it's still soft. What I'm gonna do is, now you gotta do it any old kind of way you want to. You can cut this down just the way you see here. You gotta do it the best way, you know, that makes it easy for yourself. So we'll do that. We'll cut these down just like this, right? And then, you know, I got pieces like this. For me, I don't need perfect squares or nothing like that. That's good. Cut that in half, look, that's good. I just wanna show you guys, don't overthink it. Do it like that. If you wanna peel them, you can. Because after you boil them, some of it's going to come off. But this right here is just right for me. 
You know what I mean? So boom, check this out. And that's just that simple. Then I just grab them. I go ahead and put them inside this bowl and I'm gonna go ahead and repeat. Now I'm gonna show you the way we get down the way Granny did it. Now I'm gonna look, I'm gonna give a demonstration of how we did it, how we saw it done when we was young. For those of you guys that are, you know, around my, you know, my generation. Look, got a potato in his hand, got my knife. We call it paring knife or whatever, but again, this is the petty knife. Take a look at this. You know, Granny did them like this, you know? So, of course, Granny already had, you know, peeled everything, but for me, I'm gonna do it like this because this particular recipe I like, I like to use and keep the uh, skin on too. Totally up to you. You know what I mean? We'll just do them like this. You just want to get them like a certain size because don't forget, we're going to tumble this and mix everything together and they start getting small. If you get a big piece like this, you can always do it. Now, you guys that are new, like novices, I don't suggest doing this until you, for, you know, this is not the right way. I'll just say that. You know what I mean? But check this out right here. This is good. Look at that bowl right there. Now I'm getting ready to just knock these out. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock these out. As soon as I get done with this, we're gonna move over to the next step, and which is really like the last little bit, you know, the last step. Okay, so look, get down here, look in this bowl, right? What I'm getting ready to tell you right now is that's not the regular, you know, your daily potato salad, right? You can look at the cubes. Again, I had already showed you guys how, you know, tender it is. And because we're gonna be using, you know, one of these rubber spastas, right? And we fold and everything over as we mix it, we don't wanna turn it into like mashed potatoes. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip. Now for me, I'm getting ready to go ahead and add a tablespoon of this all-purpose seasoning, right? I'm gonna go ahead and work over this right now. You know what I mean? Because if a little bit get on the inside of there, it's okay. So that's good, right? I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add it here. I'm gonna tell you why. Let me get my whisk. I'll tell you right now. The reason I added here, because I'd rather it be incorporated there instead of putting it on the actual potato, because we got to do a lot of mixing and turning and folding just to get it to get everywhere, right? So you mix here, then you add there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this, and I'm just gonna add it all around. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a handful of these green onions and just give it a sprinkle. I'm gonna do the same thing with the shredded cheddar. And then last but not least, you know what, the bacon. So we'll just do it like that. Get yourself a spatula, and what you wanna do is fold it. So I'm gonna dig in this way and just roll it over. Now, I gave you guys a measurement, you know what I mean? I didn't weigh my potatoes, so it looked like I got a lot, little bit more, right? But one thing you can do, you can always add more. The problem is you can't take none out. So I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. I just wanna fold it over just like this. Just like you see. Then once I got everything coated, you know, you know what I mean with that, with that ranch and that sweet Smoky Joe's all purpose. <laughs> we, hey, look, and then you know, I always tell everybody, we watch our salt intake, but when it comes to this pepper, we gonna go ahead and just give it a few grinds, right? Just like that. Okay, so look, there it is right there. I don't want to like beat it up because look, I'm gonna take some of this. I'm gonna put this in my bowl and we finna do a taste test. But I just want you guys to see what authentic, you know, potato salad should look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it like this. Put a little garnish over the top. You know what I mean? Put a little smile on my face. I don't know why I like decorating food. And I want you guys to tell me what you think about that right there. Look at that. I'll just turn this around for you guys to see. Now that there, that's a potato salad, folks. All right, so you know what? We done did enough talking. It's time for us to dig in. Cheers, y'all. Hmm. <laughs> hey, check this out. Hey, hey, you know what? You wanna know why I pat myself on the back? Cause listen, when it come down to uh, potato salad, listen, it's all in, for me, it's all about that texture, you know, the potatoes. When you get them potatoes just right, I don't care what flavor, you can do the cheddar bacon ranch, you can do old traditional Southern style, whatever it is, the potatoes gotta be perfect. Now I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, do you agree or disagree? Hey, so with that being said, listen, the flavor profile, this is on fire and it, you know, raised up you know, a couple of notches by me using this Sweet Smoky Joe. And I got it, you guys. I got to tell you this too, for, especially if you guys are new. You probably have seen a few videos and you always see the Creole kick, the garlic butter and all of that kind of stuff, right? Listen, 
This is not no paid sponsorship or nothing like that. But listen, when I find something that's right, this is right. This right here ain't gonna set you back. Get this, and I want you guys to let me know when you get it, no matter what video it is, tell me what kind of recipes you're gonna put it on. Because right now, my mind is blown with the possibilities of using this. I'm telling you right now, I slept on it. This just raised this up a whole nother notch. You thought just using the ranch dressing was it? But anyway, listen, so that I don't over talk, let me just go ahead and thank everybody that's new to my channel. Listen, so if you're here and you're new, check this out. I want you to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that bell, right? That way you can be notified anytime I drop any of these fire, easy recipes. And with that being said, you guys, listen, there's always some people behind this camera, everybody licking their chops and ready to eat. So we about to get it and we out. Peace.